In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a demo of the ultimate Shopify SEO tool. So why is it the ultimate Shopify SEO tool? Well, it's because it is the holy grail of AI content. It can focus on specified keywords and include backlinks to your products. This is a feature that everyone has been after, and now it is finally available. There is no coding required, no Zapier, no Google Docs, no Sheets. Get your SEO content with backlinks in just a click. Why your store needs backlinks. Firstly, improved crawlability. Secondly, backlinks pass link juice. Backlinks also improve user experience. Okay, this is Mango, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you why it is the ultimate SEO tool for Shopify. First of all, what we intend to do here is we're going to generate AI content that is gonna be focused around some keywords or key phrases that we select. And in that content, we're gonna get the AI to automatically insert those backlinks to our products on our Shopify store. So the first thing we want to do is get some keyword suggestions and some data around search traffic. We'll just go over to the keyword suggestions module. And in here, I'm just going to type in photography because this article is going to be about photography. The default is English in the United States. So we're just going to leave that and we're just going to click get the suggestions. One of the things you'll notice about Mango is that when it generates this data for you, it it remains in your database. So if you're in the niche of photography, you might build up this database to be you know, 100, 500, 1,000 keywords and phrases. And every time you come back in here, the data will still be there for you to, to use. And you can easily export it out to Excel. And if you want to refresh it at some point, you can just blow it away, erase it, and start over again. Okay, the keyword suggestion database has been populated and what you want to do now is basically just make sure before you generate your article that you're going after a topic that has decent search volume but it's also around your your niche so just for the purpose of this demo I'm going to select you know photography studio but before we jump into creating the content I'll show you another tool that is pretty handy as well when you're doing this research so for the purpose of our demo, let's say that this is our Shopify store and it sells light boxes for product photography. Let's use the keyword difficulty tool just to see what kind of ranges in difficulty. And we might be able to select some keywords that we've got a better chance of ranking for. So I've just gone over to the keyword difficulty uh, tool within Mango and I've just got the, the keyword here, product photography. Now it's going to add a bunch of different uh, keywords onto the end of it to make sort of what you call long tail uh, key phrases. And then we'll select a couple for our article. So our database has been populated with all of our keyword difficulty around that product photography niche. And if we scroll down the bottom, we're getting a, a bit of variety. So we don't want to go with keywords or these long tail ones that have got a, a difficulty of zero, which probably means there's very low traffic as well. We want to go sort of anywhere in that sort of 30 to 60 range. With this one here, I think that's what we're, we're going to target product photography studio. We'll also go product photography lighting and one more, maybe product photography backdrop. Okay, so now it's time to generate our content. Just note that for the keywords we selected, product photography studio, product photography lights, and product photography backdrop, this store sells products related to those areas. So those keywords are going to result in being anchor text that is going to have a URL or a link to the product page or the collection for those products. So within Mango, there is a whole bunch of tools that generate content. The one we need to do the content generation that will have keywords and backlinks is called Mozart Keyword and Link. So I'm going to enter in the title for our article. 
Now, this doesn't need to be specifically the keyword or key phrase because what Mozart is going to do, it's going to generate an outline for our content. And if we like it, then we can move to the next step. If we don't like it, we just get it to rerun it again. So let's generate the content outline for product photography for e-commerce. OK, so what Mozart has done, it's gone off and the AI has generated an outline for our article. All we have to do now is enter our keywords in and our associated links and we will generate the content. OK, so with the keywords we selected earlier, which was product photography studio, product photography lighting and product photography backdrop, we now add the associated links. The URL here, which is link one, we've got link two and link three. So what happens is this will be the anchor text and this is the URL that is going to redirect the user to when they click on it. So to generate the content, pretty easy. Just hit auto generate the outlined content and add an FAQ. If you're interested in trying Mango, there'll be a link in the description that will give you a 70% discount. We did have a successful product hunt launch earlier in the year. And as a result, we got a bunch of really good feedback. If you'd like to check out some of the feedback from our user base, just scroll down the bottom of the homepage and you can check it out for yourself. Anyway, let's get back to it. All right, so our content's been generated for our content title, Product Photography for E-Commerce. You might notice the outline has changed. I have run this more than once. For our content that Mozart has generated, you're going to find it's a fairly extensive, well-written piece of content. It's actually 1,206 words. And if you want to see the content with the link in it, you just click on the link. And then when you scroll down, there'll be another section here. And this is with the link. Now, it's a little bit like Where's Wally, but there's a link there that was link three associated with keyword three, and you'll find link one and two. Sometimes it's in multiple times. If you're using Shopify and you know your way around the HTML to, to add your content, all you need to do is press copy because not only do you get the markdown version, you also get an HTML version. So you just paste that into your Shopify, update your anchor text, and you are done. So I hope you've got some value from this video and I've been able to show how this tool really is the ultimate tool for Shopify and SEO, generating content, getting those backlinks, directing them to your products. If you got some value, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and I will catch you in the next one.